Hello Geomates, welcome to my channel at Easy Surveys where we make survey practices to be easier and educative. In this video, I want to show everyone on how to produce a land use land cover map using Landsat 8 imagery. So in the course of this video, I'll be using the supervised classification technique and I'll be making use of the ArcGIS software. So to do just that, the first thing to do is to add the study area of interest. So you should make sure you have the shape file of your study area. All right. So this is my study area of interest and uh, I'm going to make it to be color. So the next thing to do is to go to add, to add your Landsat 8 imagery. So under this video description, I am going to be dropping the video tutorial on how to download the Landsat 8 imagery for the benefit of those who are just joining us for the first time. So this is my Landsat 8 imagery, the different bands inside of it. So it has been extracted. So the next thing I'm just going to do is to add all the bands of interest all right so as you can see from b1 b10 they are not actually arranged but irrespective of how they are arranged all you have to do is to add the bands click on ok Okay, so it is still remaining. So it is ideal to add all the bands so that you can run any form of classification of your choice. So I am adding the rest of the bands. All right, so the next step I am going to show you is on how to form a composite band. All right, so to form your composite bands, all you have to do is to go to the search icon, activate it. If it is not yet activated, click on it. So on your search box, you are going to type composites Then you click on search. Alright, so it's going to bring options. So the options of interest is composite bands data management. So you click on that. So the next thing I am going to be doing is to add the bands respectively. All right, according to the serial number. So as you can see here, the last band here is the band one. You can see B1, all right, band one. You click on it, it will appear here. Then I am going to add band two. So this is band two, B2, click on it and it's going to appear. Then band three, band four, band five, six seven eight nine ten and lastly eleven so these are the bands respectively so i want to form a composite band so what i'm going to do next is to divide my output raster so what i'll be calling this is band all right then i am going to so make sure you know the folder is going to i'm going to click on save all right then click on ok so below here is going to merge the bands together to form a composite bands so, so that will aid my land use land cover classification 
on ArcGIS. So you should give this a little bit of time. It's going to run it. So it is still running as you can see. So it's actually depending on the speed of your system, all right, for it to process. So if you are using higher RAM system, it is going to process fast. But if you are using lower RAM systems, it will take a while before it can process. So just give it the time required. So guys, it is successfully done, alright, so I am going to uncheck the pants so that my ArcGIS software won't be hanging, so I will just uncheck other data, okay. Alright, so this is the band here. So as you can see, this is the band, and uh, here at this red icon here. Alright, I am going to click, double click on it, so you can see band C1 simply means band composite one, band two, band three, band four, two, band eleven. Alright, so what this will aid us to do is to um, enhance our visualization of the satellite imagery by combining the bands all right so this will actually aid our band combination so we are going to be knowing the kind of band we can combine to get for vegetation the kind of bands you need to get for um, for built up areas and so on and so forth so this is the aim of doing your band composite so i will quickly clip out my study area out of the composite bands all right so that i can just work directly with that so to clip out my study area from the raster image all i have to do is to come to my search box and type clip then search for the clip options all right so here is the clip option so where are we going to is clip data management all right so this particular tool helps you extract your study area from an image raster image so i'm going to click on that all right then here i am going to input my raster the raster i want to clip out is the band then the extent is my study area all right then i'll come down you i am going to check this then check this then make this zero so my output raster now is now going to be my, i'll call it raster all right so I'm, i am going to click on save then okay so blue here it is going to extract my study area out of the raster so that is what i will start using when it is actually done successfully please if you have watched this video to this extent do well to hit on the subscribe icon because thank you so as you can see it has been extracted successfully as raster okay so the next thing i am going to do is to uncheck this and i am going to be having my raster imagery directly all right so this is my study area out of the landsat imagery so i am going to introduce you to the band combination for landsat 8 imagery in the next video all right band combination for the natural color the band combination so this is the natural color all right the band combination for the natural these are primary colors so these are primary colors red green blue so it can be combined to have different color visualization 
so for the natural color the red here is four then the green here is three then the blue is two so this is actually the natural color so as you can see as the red i choose band four okay why at the green i choose band three then at the blue I choose band 2 so that is the natural color so if I zoom in well to my imagery you can actually see that I can see the features of my imagery so, so I can see that this particular region here is the water body so these are green features so it is vegetation and these particular regions these are bear lands then this raster white features okay over here those are built up areas so those are residents all right so these white regions here they are residents if i zoom in very well so so that is just the idea for forming the composite bands all right so in the next series i am going to complete the video by using the supervised classification technique to run my land use land cover map thank you for watching i hope to see you next time